you have to look for Nico Noor. This is how she spells it. N-E-K-O-N-O-I-R-E. -E. Um, she just does her tutorial. It's not a tutorial. It's kind of like a to music where it's like speed it up how she does it. But you have to layer everything in the resin and you have to like do pour after pour. Like you do your background first and then you lay another layer and another layer. But she adds like paint. She adds like a bunch of stuff. Like it's just amazing when you watch her do this. And it's more like a mixed media tutorial, but it's in resin. Like it's just crazy. So I, oh, here's my M&Ms that turned out good. Did I show you that? Yeah, I did. Anywho, so I'm just going to show these ones that I actually, that turned out not so bad. But this was a fail too. This was the first Maya I did. And all the glitter floated to the top because I didn't wait for anything to harden. I just put it in right away and everything just floats to the bottom. Um, this one, the letters stayed there, the love, but then the heart that I put at the top, like, floated to the top, and then, and I didn't notice it, and then it set up. So, like, you do have to, this was just like a button, and it got messed up. So I have a bunch of um, fails, but that's fine, because it's worth it. You have to kind of have some fails before you can um, get to the good stuff. So let's see. So then I made, these are, I'm going to move these all away for a second. Because then I made these. These were the, um, I showed you the cupcake tin things. So I'll show you what I mean about them. Because I just poured some um, resin in those. Let's see. Yeah, these were, this was kind of like my second pour. And I did do a couple other, like the candy and stuff. Um, yeah, this was probably like my second pour. So... I actually domed the front of them because, because these are silicone some silicone is shiny inside of it they put like a shiny sealant inside the silicone and then you don't have to dome them or you don't have to polish them because they come out of the mold shiny so you're good to go um i don't think i have any of those yet just the, the jewelry mold that i got at ac more the little one so you end up having to put more resin on when you pull it out of the mold but i thought these turned out pretty cute um, I used uh, just mostly glitter. I used some mica powders to do coloring with. Um, and when I was mixing, because when you mix things into the resin, it changes the, you know, the chemistry of the resin. So it might not harden as well, or it like, it doesn't, it kind of gels. It doesn't really harden. So it still felt kind of tacky. And um, the other thing is you really have to watch out for bubbles. So, um, these are my second attempt, so I'm not going to beat myself up. I think they're still pretty cute. Um, that's the door. I did Dora and Hello Kitty. This is just stickers that I went and found real quick at Target doing last-minute shopping. So this one I just used like Pearl X. And I guess there was a bunch of bubbles in the middle there because I wasn't as good with the bubbles as I am now. Like now I'm, I'm getting better. Like I, I get what you're supposed to do. Like you have to let it sit, let the air bubbles rise to the top. And then you blow them with a straw and they go away. This one was kind of cool because I was um, trying to make a scene. So actually I've seen other um, aquarium type ones now where they use like nerds candy on the bottom or even like um, sprinkles that look more like rocks, like aquarium rocks. So that was my first attempt. But now that I see what people are doing, um, you know, I'm going to copy. I'm a copycat and make it my own like I'll, I'll do it my own way this one had some bubbles in the back too like I filled them in though when you dome it you just put a, another layer of resin on it and it kind of fixes it um this one was pretty cool it's just really shiny stickers and I just put like a grass looking glitter under it and then I just filled it in with some blue um it's kind of thick but um and I glazed both sides or I they call it doming um I don't really know what you would do with them. The kids love them. When you watch the kids on their videos, they have all these um, stickers of um, those. I don't know if they're they're from Japan, I think. They're Japanese characters, and they love them, and they put them on all their resin pieces. But I'm trying to, you know, I'm a grown woman. I'm trying to find something a little more mature. I think the kids, like, for keychains and stuff would love these. But I'm, I ordered two coaster um, molds, so they're a little bigger. They're probably like four by four, and I'm going to play with those. I'm going to try and make some scenes in there. Um, maybe throw a little mixed media and stuff and see how it goes. This is just Hello Kitties with um, the big 
uh, Martha Stewart glitter. There's stars in there. I can't really see behind the camera. And then I just um, put some white or pearl pearl X in there. But see, I still had bubbles in the middle, so the backs aren't perfect. But the fronts came out pretty good. So, and then my last pour, I did um, these, and I'm gonna. Um, these are really thin, but uh, I got some Mickey stickers, and I really like this one turned out so well, but it has to do, too, with the brightness of the back. Like, maybe the red was too bright for you to see the Donald Duck, you know? So I'm going to dome the back of these. See, nothing's been done to the back. It's just the glitter, um, and I'm going to see, I don't know. I think the red glitter is too dark on that one. Um, and then I did these two um, Wizard of Oz. But then I saw a bigger one where they put the Emerald City, a Dorothy, a Toto. Like, a, they stacked a bunch of stickers. Like, they layered them. So, there's so much I don't know yet about this that I, you know, I don't want you to take my word for it. I need you to go um, Google it, look at, look at other videos, and um, see what, you know, because I don't, I'm not at anywhere near proficient at this yet. This turned out pretty cute. Oops. How can you go wrong with Mickey Mouse though? But it's it's pretty um, see-through right now. So if I just dome this with clear resin, um, you know, I mean it, it's going to be see-through. I don't know. That might be kind of cool. But if I put blue behind it, it might be better. So that's another thing. Like you kind of have to figure out what's going to bring out the um, what kind of effect you want to get. But that one turned out really cute. And then these were just some, I don't know if they're My Little Pony stickers. I was really just looking for any kind of like glittery stickers to just play with um, the Pegasus. And see, so you can just see all the glitter underneath because I never put a top coat on it, or I mean a, a backing. I just popped them out before I put anything else on there. And I'll just dome them because, I mean, they could be finished. And then this one was kind of cool with the music notes. I like this. I think I'm going to try this again with and just play with different things because I think that could be kind of cool. And this little turtle. Who doesn't love a sea turtle? These were kind of cute stickers. And they're flat. Now, if you use paper stickers, that's another thing I learned. I haven't used any yet. Um, mine have all been either um, that like sparkly glittery kind of sticker right there it's got probably has like a plastic coating on it or um, the uh, puffy stickers but um, if you use I'm gonna try and use stamps too I'm thinking I don't know um, but you have to seal those with Mod Podge or some type of um, you can either put back-to-back -back packing tape like clear clear packing tape on the sticker back to back and then cut them out and then put that into the um, resin or you can use um, transparencies. I know some people, even Nico Noor had her name on transparencies and she would just cut out her signature out of the transparency and lay that into the back of her piece so that she would, had a signed piece then. Um, so there's a lot to learn about this. I haven't put, put away the clay yet. Um, and I'm taking, I've just taken down my Christmas tree, so I pulled out some more of those ornaments, and I'm going to try and make more of those. I want to try and, um, oh, and then I did get these. This is an ice cube tray, too, real quick. These, I'm going to um, dome these, which means put the shine back on them, and I might put googly eyes in one and see how that looks. Um, but these are um, silicone ice cube trays again. So, oh my gosh, you guys, that was a lot. All right. Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks for watching.